everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Kendra. Today we're going to be doing a, a Boxy Lux unboxing from Boxy Charm. And I'm just going to get right on into this video. If you like these types of videos, then, then just keep watching. So traditionally these would normally be black and white, but I'm assuming because it's March and St. Patrick's Day themed is why they sent the white and the green. But that's what that looks like for this one, the box. And the theme for this month is Lucky. Huge paper. My variation is C210-3401-LX. So the first thing that's on here is this. Looks like a palette. And it says Barbarella. It's an eyeshadow palette. Right here. And apparently it's also a pain to get it out of the packaging there. There we go. Alright, so when it's out of the casing, it just looks the same as before. And they're... I'm not swatching these because by the looks of this palette, um, it looks like something I'm not going to use. I also think, like, there's only, like, three shades that are, I'm a, I'd be interested in this blue shade, this green shade, and this one down here. But I'm not real interested in any of the other shades and I'm not going to touch them because I'm going to actually put this on my Macari page and sell it. That is kind of disappointing though because I always look forward to their eyeshadow palettes and that just didn't wow me. But apparently, let's look at the card. This palette supposedly retails for $50 and well, let me tell you, it doesn't look like it would retail for $50. Anywho. Alright, so this was one of the choice items that I chose. And I thought it was really cute. It's this G by Gennaro. It's a makeup holder. And you open it up. And it comes with the item here. And I got to try to get it out. But it's a little makeup holder, and I th like a little brush holder, or maybe you could put your makeup products in there, but I was thinking of using it for blushes. I mean brushes. I was thinking of using it for my brushes. But who knows, maybe I'll change my mind. It's really cute because it says the face, um, eyes, and then the lips here. Got a cool amount of space there. And I can't wait to put this on my vanity and mess with it. So, this brush holder is... The brush holder is $34. And this came just in time because I'm running low on my hair mask. Because currently I'm using the Not Your Mother's, one of their hair masks. I unboxed that in a previous like unboxing a couple months ago. And I'll link that up above. But what a perfect time for it to come because I got a hair mask from Rose and Quartz. And let's see. It smells really good. It smells like... It does smell... Is it supposed to smell like rose? Yeah, rose water and sweet violet. It's like a very hint of it. It's not overpowering or very strong. But this is what it looks like in that container here. Um, uh, What's it feel like? It feels... It does have like... It has a... It does have a thickness. But it's not too thick. I can't wait to use that because I'm very close to finishing the one I have now currently. So then when that's done, I have a sample of something I gotta use and I'll and then I'll use this. That is awesome that I got that. And this hair mask says it retails for $31. It says it suits all hair types and it's safe for use with all chemical processes. As has zero sulfates. Zero sul with a zero percent sulfate, sodium chloride, parabens, PEGs, or phthalates. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll put the name of it on the screen. Oh, and this one I've been seeing all over Instagram. Like little spoilers about the glow recipe and i ended up getting the glow recipe plum plump hyaluronic serum for deep hydration and glow and this is the box very pretty and then you open it up oh ain't that cute it looks like it'll be a plum shape this is what it looks like the bottle and has a pump 
and it's just clear. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's right up on my knuckle there. Right here. It doesn't have a strong scent. I can barely detect it. I'm not sure if it's supposed to have a scent or if it's just supposed to tell you that it has plum in it. But I don't really notice much of a fragrance, so. The Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Serum is 42 buckaroos and this is exciting because i never tried anything from her brand dominique cosmetic it's a creamy fill and a fine lip liner it's in the shade crush i've never gotten anything from them before on the like little tab thing it says define your beauty so i think that's all that's supposed to be in here and it's this right here this is exciting it looks like a shade i would wear more often I don't wear a lot of bold, bold lips. I usually like wearing nudes and some pinks. But yeah, it's a nice nude. Which is pretty awesome. And I can't wait to play with this. I don't really notice it being creamy. It felt kind of hard though. But maybe as I use it, it will be creamy. But this says it retails for $18. This next one is exciting. I got the KVD Locket Edge foundation brush so this is what the box looks like and the brush on the back so we're gonna open this up it's got little stars on the inside that's nice I like foundation brush brushes wait how do I get this open it's like a puzzle trying to figure this whole thing out It's a number 10 brush, and uh, the bristles are all like compact. And it is in this shape here black handle with her name on it, or the company's name rather, because I believe they rebranded. Either way, it has the name on it. I'm excited to try this out. And this says it is a locket. Edge foundation brush it says high, this high performance foundation brush features an original custom design with the sculpted shape that conforms to the curves and contours of your face. This perfectly symmetrical tapered bristles allow you to reach every corner from every angle for precise even blending. And it says this retails for $34. There's two items left in here. I don't think I'm going to swatch this one because I couldn't see myself using it. I might sell it or give it away. I don't know which. But it's the AMNH Skincare Kiss the Stars 24K Gold Lip Plumping Mask. It says this 24K Gold and Biodegradable Glitter Stars Lip Plumping Mask will moisturize and nourish your lips. Expect a tingling sensation and softer kissable lips. I'm not really much for lip pr plumping products, so unless it looks really gold, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to expect with this, but yeah, I don't think I'll be using this, so. And this says it supposedly retails for $42, which I really don't see, but okay. And this was my other choice item, the last item I have here. It is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I have the shade 110. I'm excited to try it out, actually. But upon first seeing this, it looks like it's really white. When I went to look at the swatches, it didn't look as white to me. At least I didn't think it did. I don't know if it'll be able to... But it is in this glass bottle. Got a little pump. Let's see what the swatch looks like. It feels very watery. I don't know, maybe it is my shade. Now that I kind of swatch it. I don't know, maybe it is. If it's too light, I can always mix it with something darker. Now I got foundation all over me now. But I'm actually really happy and excited to try this because I wanted to try her foundation for the longest time and now I get the chance to. I just hope this is the right shade. Oh, it's a shake well. 
Like I said, if it doesn't work out shade-wise, then I can always mix it with something else. And, alright, so this Fenty Beauty Foundation retails for $36. So, that is everything in my box for the month of March for BoxyLux. If you like this video, please give it a like. And comment down below what you thought. Did we get any items that were similar or anything different? Let me know down below. And if you're new here, I would greatly appreciate if you could... Please subscribe to my channel and join my YouTube family. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you know when I post new videos. And um, have a great day, everybody. Bye.